Hello, my name is Varsha Vilankar with Learn SAP. In this video, I will show you how to install SAP NetWeaver application server. Open your browser and go to stn.sap.com. Click on login. Then enter your username and password to login. If you are not registered as yet, then click on not a member to register. For the type of user, select public user and continue to follow easy prompts. After you have completed the registration, you will have to validate your email address. Check your email and open the email which you have received from SDN and click on the link inside the email that says complete registration. Clicking on the link will take you back to SDN where you will be asked a few more questions to complete your profile. Once you are logged in to the community network from the quick links click on downloads. Next click on software downloads, select SAP NetWeaver main releases. On the resulting page scroll up or down to find the SAP NetWeaver application server which corresponds to your operating system. Before you proceed to download, take some time to ensure your computer has enough resources to run SAP NetWeaver application server. Although these nodes call for a Java runtime environment for version 1.4 or 1.5, I personally recommend that you should install the most up-to-date version available. The host name should not exceed 13 characters. Go into your computer properties to ensure that host name is indeed 13 characters. Also, do not use any special characters in the host name. The next item on the checklist is the NTFS file system on the hard drive where you intend to install the NetWeaver application server. Right click on the drive name and click on properties. Next, check the version of your browser. Checklist calls for Internet Explorer 6 or higher or Firefox version 1 or higher. Minimum required RAM is 2 GB while 4 to 8 GB is recommended. For the CPU, minimum requirement is Pentium 3 or higher. 50 GB of hard disk space is required and high resolution monitor. Also, make sure that there are no other SAP systems installed on this computer. Next item on the list calls to check that virtual ports 3200, 3600 and 8000 are not already in use by another application. To confirm, begin by clicking on Start, Computer, C Drive. Then go to Windows folder. In Windows, System32 folder, Drivers, ETC. Right click on the services file and choose to open with notepad. Scroll up and down in the file to look for the three ports 3200, 3600 and 8000. These ports should not be in the services file. We will install the Microsoft Loopback virtual network adapter to ensure that the SAP NetWeaver server will function even in the absence of a dynamic host or internet connection. Now that we have gone through the checklist, we can now download the media. After you have carefully read the agreement, make sure you save both the files in the same folder.
For faster downloads, the files are compressed by RAR utility. To uncompress these files, if you do not have WinRAR utility, you will have to download and install it on your computer. You can download this utility from www.rarlab.com slash download dot htm select the version that corresponds to your operating system next go to the folder where you have downloaded the netweaver media files right click on the first file and select extract here repeat the same procedure for the second file once you have successfully extracted both the files you should have a new folder as shown in the video. Once contents are extracted, click on start.bat file to begin the installation. The installation initial page contains some very important information regarding licensing, copyrights, tutorials and how to obtain help should you need some. It will be worth your time to go through this page carefully. At the bottom of the page, click on next to continue. On the next page, we are directed to install the loopback adapter. Unfortunately, the example in the documentation is for an older version of Windows operating system. To help all of the Windows 7 users, I have included a detailed step-by-step -step video. Be careful as 90% of the problems arise due to a mistake here. To install the loopback adapter, start by searching for CMD. In the search result, right click on CMD and click on run as administrator. On the command prompt, type hdwwiz.exe and click on enter. This will begin the add hardware wizard. Select install the hardware that I manually select from the list. Click on next. Select network adapter and click on next. On the next page under manufacturer select Microsoft and under network adapter select Microsoft loopback adapter. Click on next and then click on finish. The instruction calls for assigning a fixed IP address to the loopback adapter and making a corresponding entry in the host file. Start with right clicking on notepad, then select run as administrator, then click on open. Select C drive in C drive Windows folder. In S Windows folder, go to System32 folder, Drivers, ETC, and select the host file. And in the host file, make the required entry. We have completed all the pre-installation steps. Now locate the SAP install file called SAP INST and double click it to start the installation wizard. Come to installation master screen, select SAP application server ABAP, the max DB, central system, then central system again. Click on next. The installation wizard will log you off and then continue when you log, log on again. When you log back again, scroll all the way on the agreement page and accept the user agreement and click on next. On the Java runtime environment page, locate the directory where Java is installed click on next. On the next screen provide a master password for all accounts that this SAP installation will create and make sure that the password is 8 to 14 characters long 
must contain at least one letter lower or upper case must contain at least one digit and no special characters are allowed on the parameter summary page click on next if you accept all the parameter values During the execute phase, the installation wizard will show progress with a green check mark for steps it has successfully completed, a green square for steps in process and a grey diamond for pending steps. In all, there are 24 steps out of which import ABAP takes the longest and depending upon the configuration of your computer, it may take several hours to finish. A successful installation will end with a notice as shown on the screen. SAP NetWeaver 7.0 including Enhancement Package 2, SAP Application Server ABAP, MaxDB Central System has finished successfully. As a result of a successful installation of the NetWeaver application server, you will notice shortcut to SAP Management Console on your desktop. We use the SAP Management Console mainly to start and stop SAP instances. Among other things, it is also used for troubleshooting and performance tuning as you will learn in the advanced videos. Microsoft Management Console, commonly known as MMC, provides a common environment the management of various system and network resources. MMC is actually a framework that hosts modules called Snap-ins. The SAP Snap-in for Microsoft Management Console provides a graphical user interface to administer SAP systems. By default, it is installed with any SAP application server on Windows. Starting an SAP system In the SAP Management Console navigation pane, open the tree structure and navigate to the system node you want to start. In the context menu of the system node, choose Start. In the Start SAP Systems dialog box, choose the required options. Choose OK. The SAP Management Console starts the SAP System instances. Stopping an SAP System In the SAP Management Console navigation pane, open the tree structure and navigate to the system node you want to stop. In the context menu of the system node, choose Stop. In the Stop SAP Systems dialog box, choose the required options. Choose OK. The SAP Management Console stops the SAP System instances. Last but not least, we will check the installation of the NetWeaver application server by logging into it. Let us quickly look at the configuration parameters of the SAP frontend commonly called GUI. Select the desired server and click on log on. Enter your username and password. If the values you provide are accepted, you will be taken to SAP Easy Access menu. To log off, go to System, Log Off. You will be given a chance to cancel log off in case you have unsaved data. I hope that your installation of SAP NetWeaver application server goes smoothly after watching this video. If you need help, please contact us. We will be more than happy to help.